have a chilling effect not only on my students and their development, but also across the state. Amy Caruso feels like public school teachers are under attack. As a classroom teacher whose students travel every year for competitions, she's just one of many who worry what happens now. The DOE says there are some 20 schools that could be affected by this decision. Here at Kaimiki Middle, the school principal and a number of teachers pulled out from a San Francisco trip just on Monday. It was one of two trips planned for this year. Language arts teacher Camilla Maii worries about the 25 students who are to travel to Italy this spring. She says her travel is normally paid for by the travel company, but she doesn't want to violate any state laws. I don't want to cancel. I have seven families who have paid already the trip in full. I have 18 families that have been making payments since February. And I'm not ready to push the panic button or to call things off as of yet. On a 3-2 vote, the commission agreed to issue an advisory opinion clarifying teacher travel. Director Les Condo says the commission will not take any action on past travel, but teachers will still have to file financial disclosures. And going forward, teachers will have to follow the state ethics code about accepting free gifts from private companies. I think the DOE knows that the commission has spoken, but uh, we are on board with the fact that now no one else is going to ask, is this you or is this the commission? because now there's going to be a document with five people's names on it. The teachers' union says it plans to put up a fight either in court or at the state legislature to get things changed. The teachers are just not going to go. They can't afford it. Okay? We already are teachers of the worst paid in the nation. They don't have this extra money. And it's sad that we say to teachers, not only will we not pay you for this extra time that you're putting in, not only is it sad to say that, you know, we're not going to value your volunteering, now we're saying that you have to pay for it on top of everything else. School Superintendent Kathy Marioshi had asked the commission to delay a decision on travel for this year to minimize disruptions. In a statement, the DOE said, unfortunately, the commission did not take action on the superintendent's request. The department must comply with the commission's directive. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News. Now, the commission says the code prohibits teachers from accepting free travel or gifts from tour companies. It has offered to assist the DOE in reviewing its policies and procedures, including possible ways to fund teachers' travel for upcoming educational trips. You can read the entire advisory opinion. Log on to the As Seen On section of our website, KITV.com, and a lot of parents are going to want to know more about this.